Namaskara RVC. I'm Varun Tirtha from this very college, and it's an absolute privilege to be here at this wonderful event. I thought we could start off on an interesting flashback that will eventually lead us to an unconventional world with unheard possibilities. On January 10th, 2017, I was selected to go to Delhi and Chennai for the annual World Book Fair, where my work was selected to be displayed. I met a 23-year-old chap there who was lean and quite introvert. He bought a bunch of books, including mine, and stormed out of the stall like there was no tomorrow to finish reading all the pages. A month hence, I was taken aback when I received a mail from the same person. It read, hey, this is so-and-so. I loved your work. And you know what? I have started to reciprocate a relatable plot into my life. So I go down to the ICS, Indian Cancer Society, every weekend and play my mridangam to all the patients there. In fact, we have our own band, and that is possibly the best medication we as a team have had until now. This mysterious go-getter is Avesh Ravi, a CA graduate who was a patient fighting cancer earlier this year. It wasn't easy for him as he was going through severe depression and even attempted to give up on his life several times. With only a few weeks remaining for him post the book fair, he decided to motivate himself by searching for material that would change his mind, his approach, his way of looking through the most difficult phase of life. He began to use his skills in the field of music to gel in with the other patients, to create this fear of hunger and optimism around them. Cancor, Cancor, Cancor! They would proudly chant their team name day and night as the musical notes would loudly echo through the corridors of the ICS office. That is who they represent. The con in conquer replaced with the can from cancer. I'm sure there are a few takeaways from this that made you take notice and think, all right, wow, the miracle of recovery? Or what was in that book that brought about this drastic change? Or maybe even on how these coincidences became the strongest element for them this year. To be honest with you, I don't see the crux of this turnaround through either of these options, and nor do they. It's just how that belief in someone to use his or her potential to make a difference impacted one to take notice and resonate on the same to another, to another, to another person, until all these creative media led to an avalanche of opportunities, perseverance, and solutions. These bunch of extraordinary folks are just one among millions who too can create something special from the grassroots of a skill set they love. It's no illusion that this idea of using our talents to bring about a change can be the most satisfying feat you can achieve, I can achieve, we together can achieve. When we talk of discrimination and crimes based on gender, status, sexuality, beliefs, and so on, the first thing that comes to our minds on these lines are thousands of members marching down the streets with large banners and slogans echoed with utmost passion. We all surely have that voice, a loud, crisp and clear voice. But to channelize it and make that count through an intriguing path so as to reap results we have desired for years now, there lies an idea, a roadmap, a way of life which oozes out the individualistic uniqueness we all possess. Sitting over there right now, you might have this question at the tip of your tongue. So, what he's trying to say is that my passion for a change through a creative medium can impact large volumes of people. Really, the foundation of this idea he's trying to interpret is that simple? Well, not really. Not as straightforward as it may seem putting it that way. But yes, it's nowhere close to impossible either. I'm sure that your focus at the moment is divided between the spotlight here and your subconsciousness, where you're brainstorming on the simple things you love doing on a daily basis. I'm guessing many of you are thinking on the lines of music, dance, theater, I heard literature, literature, and maybe even writing, yeah? Finally, there will be a few here too who will say, Arey, you know what, forget pursuing a passion. I'll sit for a few days, I'll eat a lot, I'll eat a 
और फुटबॉल प्रीमियर लीग के सारे मैचेस देखूंगा बस आई किड यू नॉट आई वॉज दिस सेम चैप ड्यूरिंग माई चाइल्ड हुड द वन थिंग आई वॉज क्रेजी अबाउट एज अ कउच पोटेटो बैक इन द डे वॉज टू लिजन टू द स्पोर्ट्स कॉमेंट्री आई पिक्ट अप अ लॉट फ्रॉम दैट फेक एक्सेंट अफकोर्स but the thrill for doing so was always there earlier this year when i visited a couple of shelter homes i noticed that a group of abandoned mentally challenged boys and girls were playing cricket in the corner of a ground over time i bonded with the lads and got to know about their past of child abuse and acid attacks which was a very disturbing mind block for them as they would continue to play while hooting and cheering i made sure i stood behind the batsman and gave a commentary in the background what a game this is turning out to be and what a fantastic audience we have gathered here today just 20 runs required from six balls of the star player vishnu's on strike mallinga comes teaming with a stroke pushing rocker but vishnu gets under the ball he strikes it big and it goes high in the air high in the air and boom would you believe it it's gone all the way for a maximum eventually as many volunteers joined in for this practice it brought about an amazing sense of belief that they started to use sports and commentary as a mechanism to look at their future in a completely different dimension today 6 to 8 students are in the process of being registered under the pci training program paralympics committee of india that became the power of translating talents roping in different individuals into this common space of uncountable opportunities and hence creating that tandem of influence through just the basic creativity the team believed in the scales definitely vary when we look at scenarios that are possibly large and sensitive but the very foundation to make ourselves count pretty much remains the same there is no restriction to aim big even if it's something that's causing ripples at the global level recognize that situation the so called taboo of perception you believe you want to turn fortunes in the right direction and let us accept the actual influence it has had on crumbling our society researching and understanding the root cause is important as we then have a direction to toil hard and get ourselves into a zone of solid clarity create mental pictures in your mind as to how you would want to shape your vision and let us be patient if we don't manage to achieve them at a brisk pace be bold to fall back to references to people to organizations who have already had some experience with respect to the target issue that's the best part of being a change maker you only keep learning more and more as you further progress change then no longer no longer remains a phenomenon that happens when it's supposed to happen rather it becomes a way of life which can be adopted on simplistic yet impactful terms this wild idea of changing lives through innovation will only scale up in terms of the thrust it has to change minds start off with a message which will gradually shape into a program an initiative a practical solution to the cause and hence the big picture we all come across a range of topics through articles and videos right but the one that personally caught my eyes with the practices that caused haywalk to girls during the time of the month period discrimination or the menstruation taboo as they call it to start off with i was greeted with weird expressions as to why on earth would a guy take up something like this eventually i came across an organization who were thought provoked by a proposal called the red drive with interesting workshops involving students who were victimized on this basis we managed to document their stories and raging opinions by this every such individual was all set to be an example to their peers through their field of interest we could observe that most of the 12 to 16 year olds loved spending time with their crayons and paint boxes that is when they were assisted to express their inner voice of resilience through the form of art these works made them realize the need of standing up for who they represented and why bleeding should be a matter of pride and not shame another set of beneficiaries were banished from homes to dark lonely menstruation huts they would secretly cuddle in corners and draft verses of their desires to end such impositions 
with a few good musicians on board, compositions were created on the same. And that in turn showcased empowerment to others that instantly caught their attention. Such was the effect that every victim of this taboo began to stamp authority over the patriarchal practices in a zone of absolute confidence and solace. Over a thousand eco-friendly sanitary napkins have been distributed to such heroes across different schools and camps. Notice how I coined them as heroes now and not beneficiaries. In fact, we all start to look at different communities around us through a lens of possibilities and capabilities once we imbibe this out-of-the-box thought process. Recognize, research, create mental pictures, execute, network, and there we have the potential revolution you are a part of from scratch. The initial budget or the reputation of the team, they don't really predetermine the pedigree of the vision, do they? Though the results may seem wonderful over time, every individual continues to develop on the dynamic work environment in order to make a productive contribution to the world we deserve. That's what this ideology can do. It's infectious, so infectious, that capital and social status don't really drive where you're headed, but the only ingredient to create that path of successfully making a difference is the belief in translating your skill set to the big stage. Because until now, we have been looking at the brittle shadows who are falling off the bridge of equality and acceptance with hope that they somehow find a way to climb back up. If the question still arises in your mind as to can I, should I, then think again whether there really is a need to ask so. You may hit the right chords of a guitar every practice session. You may love to sing your heart out under a spotlight. You may create magic with a paintbrush and a palette or you may even have an unreal talent of shooting a goal from half-line. Trust me, every minute accomplishment you take in your stride can rub off fate to people in a thought-provoking manner. Hope walks through fire, while faith leaps over it. It's not a fancy saying that should be preached. Rather, it is the practical truth that can be executed quite amazingly as we inch closer and closer towards a strong social stature. The motive to be a part of this need not have to rely on any parameter as such. Rather, it could be the reason of something as simple as a handshake. Mahi and Saroja are two transgender women I met near the signal a few months ago. As I gave her a warm handshake before leaving, she broke down, saying that after 29 years of changing sexual orientation, she finally met someone outside the community who initiated a conversation. Remember, change is not a phenomenon, but a way of life. Roughly six months post this spark, a student LGBT union has managed to create an image of identity as a choice and sexuality as a state of liberalization using dance and drama. To be able to draw out optimism and pride through such work becomes an extension to the core understanding that the very spirit and charisma of every individual, irrespective of their community, can be and should be celebrated. That's what sets you apart, and in turn sets us apart to spaces which seemed ideal only until yesterday. If you believe that I am here on stage because I have found myself many steps ahead, I wouldn't agree with you on that, because at the end of it, most of you are bound to ask me for the final piece of this roadmap. Where will it finally end? Fair enough, that's fair enough. It could be the medium of sports, or the involvement with the rural kids, or a union with the queer community, or maybe even our collaboration in the near future. There you go, the fortress of fate, if one would like to label it that way. <laughs> Pretty vague, isn't it? Well, observe again, think clear, and now reinterpret it. You start off with one and believe that it's unique in its own way when dispersed among a pool of many others. You're ought to observe that a few more resonate on this front and hence sets directions which opens doors to a whole new dimension of thinking. Every stage becomes an unprecedented extension to the message you just believed in. That's the whole point when we all come to the state of realization that we alone 
are the author of our fate. There was a start somewhere, but never seems to be a blueprint to reach an end, and we never will find one. But the ultimate aim is to get somewhere close, through a path you believe in. Ladies and gentlemen, each one sitting beside you will have their own approach, but with the common perspective of being a catalyst for change through the unparalleled caliber our generation possesses. Believe, construct, set the benchmark, and come be a part of the we, where we are the possible and impossible. You have been a wonderful audience till now. Thank you so much.